the International Space Station or ISS is a modern day diplomatic marvel. Since the year 2000, it's been continuously inhabited by astronauts from countries all over the world, including Canada, Japan, France, Germany and Italy. Recently though, scientists said they discovered a life form on the International Space Station that's not known to science. NASA, along with researchers from the United States and India, announced that after running various tests, they had discovered four new strains of bacteria living on the International Space Station, and three of these are unknown to science. The four strains were found from various places on the ISS, including an overhead panel, a table and a filter. After samples were sent back to Earth, the researchers started to conduct their tests, saying that once they got their results, it told them these were soil bacteria. The scientists said it wasn't really a mystery as to why these new bacteria were found on the ISS, as astronauts over the years have conducted a variety of different tests, some of which include growing food. Scientists did conclude that these strains were unidentified species, and were soon given the name of IF7WB2T, IIF1SWB5, and IIF4SWB5. NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory said the following, To grow plants in extreme places where resources are minimal, isolation of novel microbes that help to promote plant growth under stressful conditions is essential. The whole genome sequence assembly of these three ISS strains reported here will enable the comparative genomic characterization of ISS isolates with Earth's counterparts in further studies. This will further aid in the identification of genetic determinants that might potentially be responsible for promoting plant growth under microgravity conditions and contribute to the development of self-sustainable plant crops for long-term space missions in future. End quote. The vastness of space has left it to be one of the last unexplored frontiers of the human race. With it has also come a wide number of strange and anomalous properties that even the most well-versed experts on the matter can't explain. When recruiting astronauts to begin a long-term scientific endeavour or missions into the zero-gravity nature of space, the National Aeronautics and Space Administration takes an incredible amount of variables into account to ensure the safety and longevity of the mission. For as long as research plans have continued over the many decades that astronauts have been tasked with conducting scientific missions in space, the continued research into the effects of isolation, zero gravity and the environment of the vacuum of the surrounding space on the human mind and body have been gathered to better understand exactly what it is the astronauts must endure. Astronauts have carried out many missions on the International Space Station. For example, going back a few years ago, researchers on board were able to find out that the changes of the gravity do more than just affect the astronauts on board the International Space Station. When the National Aeronautics and Space Administration conducted research regarding bacterial growth of salmonella in space, they found that for some strange reason the bacteria became far more dangerous after a spaceflight. Growing unrestricted in anti-gravity allowed the bacteria to become far more potent in nearly all regard, even when compared to lower doses to the same bacteria on Earth. Many other strains of bacteria and viruses also demonstrated this rather horrifying behaviour, and it has become mandatory in appearance that all astronauts must be completely scanned for any potential viruses and bacteria, to make sure that a new strain is not formed accidentally in the confines of the space station. This means that though there are efforts currently being handled and made by the private space agency, astronauts can very well be subjected to far more aggressive diseases and illnesses while aboard the International Space Station, as astronauts are constantly coming and going from the facility. The International Space Station is also home to a few mysteries. The primary operators of the International Space Station's two components are the United States and Russia, the ISS is manned by a crew of six astronauts, whose primary purpose is to conduct research. However, they're also in charge of maintaining the complex systems of the space station. According to NASA, 
over 230 hours of spacewalks, which is the term for leaving the space station in a spacesuit, have been conducted by astronauts since the year 2000, primarily for construction, maintenance and repair. Since the lives of the crew depend on the ISS being in top working form at all times, it makes sense that they spend much of their time updating and checking its safety. For the most part, things usually function well. However, in August 2018, something unusual happened. Flight controllers on the ground at Johnson Space Center in Houston noticed dropping air pressure in the ISS. They alerted the crew who were quickly able to trace the air loss to a Russian capsule called Soyuz MS-09, which was temporarily docked after bringing three astronauts to the ISS in June. The Soyuz is a capsule of Russian design, which is primarily used for crewed spacecraft. It is heavily used in the ISS program to bring astronauts of all nationalities to space, and the MS-09 ferried researchers from Russia, Germany and the US. The Soyuz was designed in the 1960s, and capsules of this design have made over 140 flights. Any issue was rare. Upon closer inspection, this capsule was discovered to have a serious issue. A small 2mm hole was found to be the cause. It was quickly plugged with epoxy and tape, and the air pressure returned to normal. The astronauts were never in danger. However, there was a fair amount of concern. Where had the hole come from? Was it possible that micrometeroids or other debris could punch holes in the ISS? It was extremely important to find out. The capsule was set to return to Earth in late December 2018. Before it was sent back, Russian cosmonauts went on an eight-hour spacewalk to investigate and cut a small sample to send back to Earth for study. On Earth, it was revealed that it was not a meteorite that had made the hole, but rather an ordinary drill. Whoever drilled the hole had even attempted to cover it up. Theories were suddenly put forward. Officials from the Russian space program even implied that it was some sort of sabotage. Unfortunately, no one has come forward and confessed to making the hole. One idea that was put forward was that an engineer on the ground did it, but this is up for debate. Until the person responsible confesses, we may never know whether or not the hole is truly a mistake or some kind of malicious act. So what do you make of these recent discoveries? Be sure to leave your questions and answers in the comment section below and help us to grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching, don't forget to subscribe for more videos.